As you guys know, we make a lot of videos about the periodic table and the elements. But a lot of you commented to make videos about different animals. And we've made a few of those already. Extinct animals and animals alive today. And that is why today we're going to talk about a bird. A very famous bird that everybody knows about. Some people love it. Some people absolutely hate it. What we're going to talk about today is this guy, the pigeon. It might not seem like it, but pigeons are actually very smart. Let's put the crow aside, but compared to other birds, the pigeon is very smart. First of all, this bird knows itself. And that means if you put it in front of the mirror, it'll know it's himself. And animals like this are pretty rare to find. Like dolphin is an animal that passes the mirror test, which we've made a video on. It was in 1998 when scientists realized the pigeon recognizes itself in a mirror. Another cool fact about the pigeon is that it has a navigation system and it could find where it's going easily. You might not believe it, but a pigeon can recognize up to 800 kilometers and easily find the route. Scientists believe the way the bird's navigation works is the stuff you see along the way. Things like mountains, the sea, trees, even buildings. It remembers all of these. Another thing that helps it is the weather. With the help of the weather and the position of the sun, the pigeon can find the route. Another cool fact about pigeons is that they're monogamous, and that means they keep one mate for life. They're very smart, and they could remember things, like we have pigeons that remember the alphabet, or the numbers. A disgusting fact about pigeons is that the way it builds its own house, it uses its own feces and basically glues the stuff together. But this is more for wild pigeons. When the pigeon is protecting its eggs and you get close to its nest, it does something very interesting. And it slaps whoever comes close to it. It just wants to scare you. It can't do much else. Another thing you could teach pigeons is that you could teach them to do different types of tricks and something like this is rare to find in other birds. The crow is the smartest bird ever, but you can't teach it anything and it doesn't listen to you. But the pigeon can easily be taught some tricks. And that is why pigeons and doves are used by magicians and shows. Because it seems like they actually like showing off. And the good thing is, when a magician lets go of the dove, they don't fly away and they like to come back. Another cool thing you could do with pigeons is that teach them tricks in a group. The people that take care of pigeons know what I'm talking about. You could make a flock of pigeons listen to you. But you have to give them food. It's basically like a dog. Where it does a trick, you give it a treat. One of the friendliest things the pigeon does is that it's a bird and it can fly away. But you could release it. But it has to be used to the environment. And if it is, it doesn't go anywhere and it always comes back. Unless something bad happens to it. Do you see this bird? A lot of people hate it. A lot of people think it's dumb and it just eats. And back in the day, they believed that pigeons spread diseases. But now they realize that it doesn't spread anything. A lot of people love pigeons. But why? The people that like pigeons really like them. And why is that? And one of the reasons is that a bird 
can fly away and get far away and even though it could run away it still comes back to you and that's one of the small reasons that people really like this bird even though the neighbors complain to not keep these damn birds but they still do but another thing is if you decide to keep pigeons you have to have a very good place to keep them But let's continue. The main reason the pigeon listens to its owner is because it wants a reward and the reward is the treat. Scientists also say the first domesticated bird was the pigeon and that is why we have pigeons that were bred by people just like dogs where they mixed different dogs together and created new dogs. The pigeons got the same treatment. They mixed different breeds and they have insane looking ones like this one, the frail back pigeon or the humming pigeon. Nobody exactly knows how many different types of pigeons we have, but scientists believe that it's more than a thousand. And it's good to know that Europe reports there's at least 500 different types of pigeons in Europe alone. We also have racing pigeons, and the most expensive ones are the racing pigeons. Pigeon races work like this. They start a race in a location, and they all have to fly somewhere very far away. This route could be 100 kilometers, or it could go as high as 1000 kilometers. The pigeons that actually win these races are quite priceless. Like one of these birds called New Kim, his father was a champion racer. Because it was its child, it sold for $1.9 million to someone in China. This bird in a two week auction started at $200 and after two weeks, it sells for $1.9 million. The previous record was in the year 2019, where a pigeon by the name of Pipa sold for $1.4 million. It's very interesting that people pay this much money for just a bird. The average lifespan of a pigeon is about six years. It is true that the average life of a pigeon is six years old, but we've had pigeons that lived for longer than 20 years. But the average for all pigeons across the board is six years. But that $1.9 million pigeon could participate in different races and win rewards that are over hundreds of thousands of dollars. And when a pigeon wins an important race, its child is worth a lot of money. So that's one of the reasons they paid this much money for a pigeon. <laughs>